Right. So I'm off on my first bike packing trip. I'm all set up here, mug on the back, clothes and that in the backpack, the back seat posting. I've got bits and pieces and repair kits and that in there, electronic specs and what have you in there. In the front bag, believe it or not, I've got a tent, a sleeping bag, a roll mat, and I think the pillows in there as well. So we're heading, we're heading to um, Stonehof, up in Northumberland. And that's the that's the setup. Here we go to this in the front. Ooh. There we go. Nice and streamlined. So it's about 45 mile. So I better get cracking it. I'll try and uh, record bits of the journey. So why bike packing you miss here? Well I'll tell you why, as diesel is nearly two quid a litre. So I figured, you know, you'll know if you, if you watch my videos or keen on wild camping. But uh, it's getting expensive, so what I thought I would do was the money I saved on diesel the past few weeks, buy myself some gear, some bike packing gear, and here I am. So, hopefully, I want to keep myself fit and save money. So it's like a win win, really. Well, it's first 11 mile done. Flat, pretty easy. It's flat all the way to twice, once brewer, I think. And there's the steed. Bags are gone now, right? This one at the front isn't budging at all. This one's not rubbing on my legs like I thought it would. This one's a bit naff, but it's doing the job. And this one at the back, it's fantastic. It's a tour peak one. And uh, the other ones are Lotus. Them two are Lotus. I'm quite, I'm quite happy with them two, to be honest. They're not be as waterproof as all leaving things like that, but you know, for the money, just starting off, you know, see if I can get rid of it. But uh, I'm here with this product country park, and we're heading that way towards Oven Gym and back across the river. All I need now is a checked shirt. There's the bike and the log pile and the cup hanging off the back. But uh, where am I now? Near in Corbridge. Um, so I'm probably about 20 mile in or 18 mile in. And hey, it's, it's a wonderful route. This is a, this is, I'm off the, the um, sort of cycle we now and I'm on a narrow, like sort of country lanes. And they're very quiet. There's the odd car. There's the odd cyclist. Oh, the river Tyne's down there. I don't know if you'll be able to pick it out. Oh, it's hot. I want to get on my way. Just coming into Corbridge. This has probably been the busiest road up to now, and it hasn't been too bad. It's not a, not a dangerous road. There's a, there's a road flying past us. It's probably, probably five stone light. I mean, his bike probably cost three grand. But <laughs> I'm fat lad at the back. I'm enjoying myself, like I say. Uh, I'm going to be doing this more often, like, definitely. It's beautiful on a day like this. Can I feel it? So, if you watch this, my mate, Jory, you're missing out your mind. This, <laughs> this is the way forward, Jory. Get yourself a gravel bike, and get yourself some bags, panniers, whatever. You'll thoroughly enjoy this, really. I think we'll cross the river here, onto the south side again. Uh, we for us to get to Hexham. I think we'll end up in the industrial estate at Hexham. And then we'll go along Tyne Green, I think it's called. And when, as I see I mentioned before, I've got a place called Once Brewed. And if there's a pub there, I'm going to stop and have a pint, because it would be rude not to have a pint at a place called Once Brewed. What do you think? Tell us in the comments. Probably maxing out here at 30 miles an hour. I better slow do in case there's any pedestrians. Hmm. Here we are, Corbridge. Popular haunt with road cyclists. There's a cafe somewhere near here. Well, I'll gather. I'm not going to gather. I'm not going to gather with roadies because I'm anti-social. Right. Oh, no, no. Cycle route gone straight ahead.
that was a hell of a climb up there but I got it and I got as far as this little seat here Ed's seat so whoever you are Ed thanks very much for the seat oh ah oh. I'll have five minutes here I think keeping in gravel biking <laughs> tradition it's not a gents does so it's just an oily beef and vegetable pasty but it's, it's going to be as nice as a gents does I can tell you that so the reason why I'm sh giving the gents does a shout out is keep smiling adventures guy who goes around the gravel biking goes all the country tell us from morning to brilliant brilliant you know good cyclist good entertaining videos and this is a shout out to keep smiling adventures Check out his channel. Oh, good views, but the hills. I should have drove this car. I should have drove this route first. The hills are relentless, thing, and I've I've barely turned them back thirty mile, but so I'm gonna have to face this again tomorrow. But I've brought the back of it now, it's more or less like so. Keep on going. Oh, good views, but and the hills are just hills for the the read the part reason because they got miles uphill, then they are miles doing hill. They're not gaining, they're not gathering like sort of. You know what I mean? You mean going uphill if you're up there and you're up there, but when you're toiling the wee up hills, then just going straight back down here. I don't understand it. But keep on it, keep on it, definitely. Got to. Kind of bottle it. Oh, there it is. Yes, there's two cars coming. The hills are relentless and the headwinds are relentless. But anyway, when I return tomorrow, I've got fine views back there to the wind sill. <laughs> right, I'm nearly at once brewed. I don't think I'm going to stop for a pint. Even though there's 15 pubs there, I'm not stopping for a pint. I'm absolutely knackered. I'm going to get the once brewed. And once I get there, I've got 12 mile left. And then I'll get there, get myself sorted. Get a tent up, get a shower, get something to eat, and then eight o'clock, I'm gonna have a couple of pints in the pub, and just go and chill it in the tent. Oh, not good. Oh, good job you're not here, sir. You wouldn't like this. Not far, I can't do. But eight mile. Oh, I gotta get there. I might try and find, see if I can find. An easier way back tomorrow morning. This has been. I mean, I've, I'm used to doing long back and day long bike rides, I can do them. <laughs> but the hills that's been involved in this one has caught the zoot, definitely. And a headwind as well, so I've struggled, struggled a lot longer than I thought. But mind you, I've been having a, been having a lot of breaks, a lot of, a lot of rest. Some of the, I kind of get my bike into the easiest gear. So some of the hills I've had to hike a bike, just little bits of them. Uh, oh, not good. I'll be looking forward to getting there, getting this tent up. Well, it's got cool thawed now, and this here would be a fine little place for a whale camp. So we're at the beginning of the forest now, for about six and a half miles to off. It's 25 past six, it's took us forever. I was expecting to be sitting around for a couple of hours at least. Waiting for the pub to open, but it's nearly 8 o'clock, but I think I'm going to be pushed to get in there for 8 o'clock. Anyway, let's get there. Eh?
So I'm near it. One last tilt to get up. <laughs> ah, that was a bigger undertaking than I was expecting. The bike's making a funny clicking noise now and all, so I think I need a service desperately. I'm here, I'm here. Whew. So the lovely little village is still enough. So I get the campsite now and get set up. You tell me it's living in the village. I was hoping they were going to be here this weekend, but they're not. So I'll have to try and find myself some friends tonight. In the, in the club, I'll try and find some air. Uh, I'll try and fit them with the locals. Uh. Here we are. Stonehawk campsite. I wonder if it's busy or quiet. This kids are on hold, I think, so it'll be busy. Let's see. I hope I can get on. I haven't booked. I don't know if you've got a book for. This is a backpacking bike packer. Backpacking bike packer. We'll soon find out, won't we? Probably end up on the village green. <laughs> Moment of truth. Oh. Well, it's tier two. And I thought yesterday, I'm absolutely knackered. What a, what a turmoil it was trying to get here. All them hills. But anyway, I think I found a shortcut back on the sandstone way. Maybe he's not about 10 mile off, possibly 15. Um, <laughs> I'm looking forward to getting to him. I love your night last night, like I'm wondering, there's a gate there, and I'm wondering what the. doesn't tell you where it goes to, so I'll just keep on this road. And <laughs> this, this is another hill. Just all about the hills, really. Whew! Got to turn my camera back from hyperlapse to normal video, so I've lost a bit of footage of Simon Byrne back there. Back behind us, a um, little, little village, tea room, highly recommend the tea room. So, when I want the sandstone way, I'm just gonna get this crack off and get back there, back to Old Texan way. Hopefully, less hills than yesterday. Let's find out there. Eh? Sandstone way is nice, eh? Apart from the hills, Oh, thankfully I've got a nice long downhill uh, to go next. Oh, it's red hot. Really red hot. Hotter than yesterday. Bit of a breeze that's keeping us cool. <coughs> Pull me through us up. Must have lost weight yesterday. <laughs> ah. hey. A trip to this part of Northumberland wouldn't be complete without a bit of the Roman War. And there's a bit of the Roman War, which I wasn't expecting to see. And I'm in the I'm in Roman War country, but that's lovely. That <laughs> imagine that was with 12 foot high, wasn't it? And it stretched from Solway, one side of the country, all the way to that side of the country. 
and, and then and unfortunately it's been it was robbed all years and we had them talking hundreds of years ago the local farmers and all that and the local people who lived here stole all the stones i believe this road here is the military road and they actually used the stones as a foundation for the road god imagine if they left it what a hindsight's a marvelous thing in it but it's still here fantastic well yeah. i've come back on much easier yeah there was still hills but it was much easier i can be sort of proper chewing yesterday for no reason like still it was good train 50 mile hardest 50 mile i've done like i can normally do a 50 mile no, no problem you now i've done i've done 100 it wasn't a problem it was flat hills morning Yeah, uh, hill was it's another thing like whew, it was hard last week, it was hard yesterday. But I really enjoyed my few pints last night. Oh, did I not? I went doing very well. Got it. I sat there last week in the bar and I went in the horse says, give me a pint of the coolest lager please. <laughs> oh it was lovely. It's only 270 a pint now, I love it. Stonehoff campsite there and there's a clubhouse it's only open Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday and it only it opens 8 o'clock at night but uh, so, so there's a lovely pint of German lager not a lovely lager drinker but uh, hit the spot last nightly so I'm more or less hills wise apart from a few near Colbridge I'm sorted easy pedal home now Back to here again. Oh, I think I've got most of the hills more or less done now. A squirrel just run across the road there. I hope it's a right, it's a red one. It was a red squirrel. Oh, hi. This has been a much easier day to day, mate. What a, what a torture I gave myself yesterday. Absolute torture. Ah, yeah, I'm gonna back on. Hi. Hiya. Hello. 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 Right. Lady Cycling Club, I think. They all said hello. Not nice. Really nice. And people say hello to each other. Oh, fellow humans. Aye, right. Downhill this way. I'm trying to recollect the route. I'm not even in a couple of pillars, but I brought the, I brought the back of this. Once I'm down by the riverside, down by the uh, Keelman's Way and that. And, um, oh, what's it called? Can't remember the course, but anyway, once I'm down this spot, I'm more or less. I uh, Wylam, sorry. That's the word, sorry, the word I'm thinking of. Wylam. Once I get to Wylam, it's more or less. A dot left of that. See ya. Hi. It really is a green and pleasant land, Northumberland. What a place to live near. I feel very lucky to live in this part of the world. I'm handy for Scotland, handy for the lakes, and uh, not handy for the rest of it. <laughs> Good cycle routes. Yeah, hey, what a cyclist out there. Ah, uh, not having a thought to go now. We're 18 mile maybe. Maybe it's not even that. Oh, I look forward to a nice shower when I get in. Long, cool drink of water. I'm just going to chill for the rest of the day. Well deserved chill. Oh. Crossing the bridge now, Robin. Got to dismount here. 
there's a strange bridge, that road bridge here, it's a single carriageway. Uh, Lights to that side, obviously. It's got a bit in the middle, it's a bit wider, where you used to be able to pass each other. Because I believe in years gone by, there wasn't lights. <laughs> so it's just a free for all. Everybody's enjoying the day out in the river. We're on free toys and that, the kids are enjoying themselves. I'm enjoying myself. Slap the sun quite cream on. And uh, I haven't got far now. I think I've got one hill left. Little hill, hard bank. I'm out. Doddle. Pit stop there. I'll turn around and show you. Not normally, that's the first time I've seen it. Little coffee stand thing. So uh, it's a full fat can of coke. Thoroughly enjoy it. Alright. Ah, yeah. So, here we are. Are done with a full fat coke at about mile 30 yesterday. <laughs> and there was probably a couple of opportunities where I could have had it as well, but I didn't take them. I just wanted to get there. And across the other side of the river here yeah, is where the Blaine Races were held. You know, that's the famous song, the Blaine Races. Northeast sort of anthem, really. That's where they were, there. And there's some things along here. Let's see a monument, like a bit of artwork dedicated to the Blaine races. Whenever I walk my dog along, yeah, he always barks at them. <laughs> he thinks they're real. He's a crazy horse, man, my dog. Crazy. <clears throat> Just long here somewhere. A bit further along. Think it's here. Is it here? Yeah, this is it. <laughs> He barks at them, them horse there. Uh, <laughs> black cut out horse ships. And I think that's where it was across there. Blading races. I can't imagine being on this side. Oh, I'm only three mile left now. I'm looking forward to the show. I'll get back. Like. <laughs> Been a good trip. Learned a few things. Equipment wise, everything's worked fine. There might be a different story in the rain. The rear pack, I'm not, it's not, it's not a review, like, it's just a initial thought on them. Um, the rear pack's a tour peak, very good quality. I had bought a Lixada one previous to that, and that was rubbish. The, the buckle snapped when I was fitting the bag, so I didn't buy legs Lixada gear. Um, yeah, that stuff is, um, is it Lotus? The front bag here, yeah, I've got my tent, believe it or not. I've got a tent, a sleeping bag, my pillow, and my roll mat on that front bag, that's quite good. It doesn't bounce about, but more or less well this position. This top bag here is a Rock Brothers. It's just a cheap one to see if I can get away with it. But I think you need something further forward with a screen on. That's all I bought it for. But I will be buying a cycle computer eventually um, and putting that on later the headset thing. Um, the frame, uh, the frame pack's to a peak and I can get me pegs my poles for the tent, um, suntan cream, deodorant, bits and pieces, spoons and repair kits and that tubes, that cans in that bag. And I've got a small backpack on, which to be honest, there's stuff in there which I really, really need. And I want to try and get away from using the backpack if possible. Um, it's not causing any issues. It's just, you know, I, I like the feel of getting everything on the bike. But I would still need a, a hydration bladder for, so I might as well just have it. A hydration backpack and that's that's easier to carry everything nice squashing stuff here the bag the rear can't see it i don't know if it's been bouncing about but if it has been bouncing about it hasn't been causing us any issues uh everything's fine the the, the pack 
the frame pack, I thought that would have gotten in the way when I was pedalling. It doesn't, I thought it would have rubbed on my legs, but it doesn't. Uh, anything else? Oh, I'll tell you what I've learned. I need to bite the bullet and get some SPD and some cleats. Because pedalling and, and your foot's meet me, feet's moving all over the pedals, and it's, it's even worse when you're on hills. So I'm going to get a, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit apprehensive about them, like forgetting to unclip. But apparently, once you fall enough once, you'll not do it again. <laughs> right, just about so, home. And I tell you what, the park's extremely quiet for a sunny day. Oh, local park, top of the street. Very quiet. Thought we'd been buzzing the day with the sun, but people must have better places to be. So, ah, oh, i back. shaking with tiredness back what a trip wasn't easy but I enjoyed it so my first back I can't speak that's my first back picking trip done and I think I'll be doing that again <laughs> once I've got the, the hardship <laughs> time for a shower thanks for watching catch you on the next one